All right, this is Smoker Build Part Six. Some things have changed since you guys seen it last. Last time you saw it, the racks were done. Um, everything's got a little smoky tint to it because I've fired it a couple times. You'll notice the thermometer probe sticking out the back side of the door. Uh, I have one right now. Plan on getting another one. I added this drip edge here to kick the condensation on the door down into the water pan. And the reason I did that is I had some issues with my original gasket. It's just the white fiberglass rope. The silicone kind of seeped through the rope once it got hot and it started to glue itself to the back of the jam. And I don't know if you can see it real well. There's a couple spots down there where you can see that I did some grinding on it to take it off. Um, so what I read online is some people were using this Rutland 600 degree silicone and just doing a bead of silicone, put some wax paper over it, shut the door, and then use that as a gasket. Worked all right up top. I was a little thin in spots, so I had some leaks, but I think a little thicker bead would help that out there. But I ran into an issue down here on my firebox. I'm guessing it got a little over 600 degrees, which wasn't surprising. I just wanted to see. So we've got some spots like over here on the top that it actually stuck to the jam inside the silicone did once it heated up. Now the silicone was cured, but the heat from the firebox melted it. And this is a day later, and you can st see it's still kind of gooey. So we're gonna do something different there. And it's gonna be a combo of both of the designs. I'm gonna use this tougher seal it's a little stiffer it feels feels just better made than this stuff is this is the ultra conformable so it I was thinking that it would seal up a little bit better smash down thinner but I think it's just not sturdy enough for what we have going on so I'm gonna try using this rope seal on the doors. But instead of using the sealer that came with it, it was what I originally used on this. We had some of the sealant laying around. I'm gonna actually use the Rutland silicone on the door. The, oh, let's turn around to English the 500 degree silicone for the top and probably get some of the 2000 degree Rutland silicone for the burn pot or for the firebox door sorry that's what everybody online seems to swear by um, while we're here you see the bolts it's just kind of a crude temporary lock put that on run the nuts down holds it in place little handle um, temp wise it was doing pretty hot actually I had the door open a half an inch and the temp was right around 350 380 for six hours I think it held that temp it was 250 to two or 250 to three yeah 250 to 350 for about three hours before that temp. So it ran a total of nine hours before I finally went to bed and just let it burn out overnight. So the heat's there, and that was on one bag of charcoal. It lasted nine hours. So the heat's there. I think my biggest mistake was opening the flu doors for the intake all the way. And that's just two two inch square pieces that I put in there 
I had them open all the way to start the fire and then I choked it down to half an inch but I think actually what's going what I'm gonna do from now on is start the charcoal maybe just open it up a half an inch or an inch and then let it go from there just build the fire it's a lot easier to get the heat in there because of the insulation that it is to get the heat out of there I found out the only way to kind of cool it off is to actually open the door up and lose all your smoke and everything so the heat's there actually going up higher was probably good it got up around 400 degrees for a while so everything should be baked in pretty good um, again I am changing the seals again so we're going to do some changes there and try it again we went ahead, went ahead and welded solid beads on the hinges um, the exhaust is in everything is welded up final on it except for this front side because I have to get more steel for the top but everything's got stitch welds welding it in solid all the way you can see the frame for the table is done we've got just this sheet of diamond plate we had laying around for it so I'm going to get another sheet of 11 gauge if I get a 10 footer it should be enough to wrap all the way around the table we're going to go ahead and put a door on it so that I've got storage inside and I'll get the top out of the same sheet also what I've been doing is working on the trailer a little bit I don't know if you guys have seen this yet or not may have been in the back of a few shots but here's the boat trailer that I'm going to turn into the smoker trailer um, it came with some matching tires that weren't in such good shape but it did have two good wheels so I'm painting the wheels right now I'm going to get some new tires put on them tomorrow so we can get it set and level get some two by six ten footers rip them down or cut them down and we're going to run them side to side all the way up for the eight feet which will work out good I'll have one foot storage on the side of the smoker I'm not sure what I'm putting in there yet if I'm going to use it for charcoal or if I'm going to have the charcoal actually just under the table in that cabinet but we've got some mods to make on the trailer we're going to actually cut the tongue off of it because it's one of the really long boat trailers so we're going to cut the tongue off of it and actually move this cross member here back to where the V is and weld that so it'll be extra strong and we're going to cut a couple feet out of the tongue up here too and bring that back closer to the apex of this tongue here so it'll be shorter be a little easier to move around into tighter spaces I should say the shorter wheelbase probably gonna hurt us to turn and maneuver but storage wise it'll help us out a lot plus strength wise it's a little flimsy when you get 1200 pounds of smoker sitting on it we're gonna have the smoker shifted to this side so that you can get into the meat burn pot all that stuff table will be towards the back and then on this half of it gonna just leave the decking open probably find a water tank and put on the one side that way if I ever decide to go anywhere I've got water if I need it for the water pan also if I'm towing it down the road put some put some water in the water tank figure 50 gallons that'll help put 400 pounds on that side of the trailer to help balance the load a little better but we'll have room for coolers on the back side maybe up here talk of doing some tables and chairs or build a rigid table over the tongue once everything gets moved back not real sure let me know what you guys think what I'm missing what I should do uh, any questions or comments I've got a couple ideas for some locking mechanisms I think will be really cool but I want to get those mocked up I think it'll be kind of hard to explain without any drawings or anything mocked up so this is what I'm working on so far gonna get the trailer worked on the next couple days 
get the seal on the smoker, let that cure up till the weekend. Hopefully we can get a fire started in it Friday night, get everything smoked in good. Then we should be in business to run some meat on it Saturday or Sunday, one way or the other, depending on how everything goes. But main goal for this week, get new tires and wheels on the trailer so it's sitting level, get the tongue cut back, and get the hitch moved back closer to the trailer. So, you guys got any questions or comments? Leave them down below. Until next time.